Yes, today I'll be talking about the Ottawa Senators and what I noticed about yesterday's game and the new water bottles. So as you know, people have been using the Gatorade water bottle for a long time. But since BioSteel came out, I, I think they, they changed it. Here's an example of how, how they changed it. So as you can see here, Tim Sousa is holding a BioSteel bottle. And I honestly think they changed it because Gatorade is not that popular anymore and they wanted to the sponsor. Now let's talk about the team. Okay, so now the starting lineup. Brady Kachuk, Josh Norris, Drake Batherson on the first line, Alex DeBrinkett, Tim Stutzla, and Claude Giroux on the second line, Alex Wilmington, Shane Pinto, and Matthew Joseph on the third line, Tyler Mott and Dylan Gambrell and Austin Watson on the fourth line. Defensive pairings: Thomas Shabbat, Travis Hamernick, Alex, er, sorry, Eric Branstrom, Artem Zub, Jake Sa Sanderson, Nikita Zaitsev. First power play unit you'll be expecting: Brady Kachuk, Josh Norris, Josh Norris, Drake Patterson, Alex DeBrinket, and Thomas Shabbat. Bot, Thomas Shabbat. Shabbat. On the second power play unit, you you will see Alex Formington, Shane Pinto, Claude Giroux, Tim Stutzla, and Eric Blanstrom out on the ice. On the first penalty kill unit would be Dylan Gambrell, Alex Flemington, Nikita Zaitsev, Travis Hamannick, Hamannick, and Travis Hamannick. And on the second penalty kill unit, it would be Shane Pinto, Matthew Joseph, Eric Branstrom, Artem Zub, Cam Talbot, and Tom F and uh, and for the goalies, Cam Talbot and 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 Tom Forsberg. Now this, now keep in mind this was last updated on September 14, 2022, which was a long time ago. So, so and some things could change. Overall, I think this is a good lineup. Especially the Alex Debrink kit, Claude Giroux, and Tim Stutzel lineup. Those are, that's going to be a fire lineup. What do you guys think about this lineup? So now for my standings prediction. I think it will be 40, 25, and 45, sorry, 45, 25, and 10. I think the Senators are going to make the playoffs with a lot of points. And, and, and they'll be good in the playoffs as well. What do you guys think? Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to do player stats, but only a few players. First player is Claude Giroux. So, as you can see, Claude Giroux had some pretty good seasons and some pretty bad seasons. This season, I think he will get... 80 points with with 40 goals and 40 assists. And I think he'll he he will be really good for the Senators. Okay, so now we're going to do another new addition for the Senators. Alex Dobrynkit. 
I honestly thought this guy would steal. And for this year, I think he'll grab, as you can see, his stats from last year. I think he'll, from last year's uh, defeat, uh, all, in all of his career, I think he'll finally grab the um, 50, maybe 52 points. I don't know, but 52 points, like, I think that's a decent amount for him. With 30 goals, 20 assists, or no, um, he'll grab 50 goals, sorry, not 50 points, because a few years ago he made it in 241. As you can see, he made it twice. So I think he will get 60 goals this season, 62 goals, and 40 assists. With, so that's, wait, I'm calculating, hold on. 82 points in 82 games. Now, 82, 82 points, um, I don't know if he can do it, but I'm seeing 82 points or 72 points. I don't know what he'll do, but hopefully he goes to over like 60 goals or 50 goals or something like that. And now for our next player. Okay, so now for the next player, we're doing Drake Batherson. This, here's the stats from, from his whole career. And here's what I think he'll get this year. I think he'll get 45 points. Okay, 45 points. I think he'll get 45 points. So... 20 assists, 20 goals, or no, 20, wait, hold on, I'm doing calculating again, uh, 20, I'm actually not, um, okay. I think he'll get, I'm not sure yet, but I think he'll get like 23 goals and 22 assists or something. 45 points, you know what I mean. So yeah, um... I, actually, no, I think 23 assists and 22 goals. Okay, guys, you guessed it. Next is our captain, Brady Kachuk. I think Brady will get 72 points with, with 40 goals and 30 assists. Now, here's, well, he'll get 72 points, actually, I think, or 74. Here's why. Because he's had pretty good seasons. I think he'll get a decent amount of goals, decent amount of, decent amount of assists. I think he'll be a great captain this year. And if you count fights for his stats, I think he'll get 20 uh, fights. He'll get in, uh, wait, no, he'll get in 60 fights. This season, or something like that. 40 fights. Um, I counted fights because he fights a lot. So, I counted fights. No, I think he'll get lots of goals and points and all that. So, like I said, um, I think he'll get a lot. I think he'll be a good captain this year. I think he'll be productive and help. The team out. Also, what do you guys think? Let me know. Okay. Okay, guys. For the next player, I will do our rookie, Tim Stutzla. And what I think he'll have. I think he'll have at least 
50 or 62 points because he has given up like his really good so he, so he doesn't have as much stats because he's only been around for two years but I think he'll get 62 or 52 points this year at least I know 50 or 60 points with um, f uh, 60, I don't know, with 60 goals and 50, I don't know, uh, with goals, a lot of goals and assist, um, so I think he'll get 60. Uh, points and with 30 goals and 30 assists pretty even or or 33 goals with 27 assists because he is also used on on um, on like penalty shots and shootouts so I think he'll get Lots of goals and lots of assists. So next is Thomas Shabbat. I think Thomas Shabbat will get 43 points this season. He He's a defenseman and that's good for a defenseman. So I think he'll get a lot of assists more than goals. I think he'll get more assists than goals, though. Honestly, I think he'll get at least 20 goals or something, and the rest are assists or 20, from 22 goals. And here's the stats from previous years. Next player is not to the next player. Here we go. Okay, so next player, or I should say goalie, will be Cam Talbot. Now, since Cam Talbot's so old, I don't think he'll do that much, but because we only have him for like a year or two years, or I don't know. So, here's my goals against average prediction is three or four goals against with 40 wins and um, like a, a, a lot of wins and a, like and like 30 wins and 10 or no, 20 wins and like 30 wins and 10, uh, 12 losses. Now, the reason why I'm not sure about this one is because there's gonna be a lot of other goalies that are gonna try out, like Matt Silgard and Anton Forsberg, and I'm not sure how much playing time you'll get. If he's going to be the backup, the starting, or whatever. So, tell me what you think. Okay, so the last person we're going to be talking about today is Anton Forsberg. Anton Forsberg will likely be the starting goalie, and, but... Many people are not sure yet. Anton Forsberg, I think, will get 50, or most wins and losses for the team. I think he'll get only like 10 or 12 losses. Again, I'm not sure because he might not always start because we have other goalies as well. So I'm not sure about his stats. But I think he'll get get good stats as he's gotten good stats for us in 2022 last season and 
with with um twenty two wins and forty four and twenty two wins and seventeen losses, which is pretty good um for him because he didn't start all the time. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the players. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, guys. So let me. Know. Th that's it for today. Let me know what your predictions are gonna be for everything. The players, the goalies, the the bottle, even the opinion about the bottle. And um, I'll see you next time. Peace.